You can feel that runner's high here in Nathan Phillips Square. Over 25,000 participants took over the city for the annual Toronto Waterfront Marathon. The race serves as both an Olympic and Boston Marathon qualifier, but of course for many, it was just for fun. A uh, half uh, marathon, uh, just under two hours. You were sub two hours. First one. I ran the 21, I ran the half in 158. Another sub two. What is happening here today? How many marathons or half marathons have you run? First. This is my first, yeah. Um, so I ran the half. Um, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I probably could have ran the full thing, to be honest. It was athlete Erin Mawinney's second half marathon, but she was the first woman across the finish line with a time of one hour, 13 minutes, and 47 seconds. It was hard. Like, it was kind of hard right from the get-go, and the wind on uh, Lakeshore was ruthless. Um, but there was really great people to run with, so can't complain. Organizers say this year had record attendance, with runners from 78 countries participating in the 5K, 21K, and full 42K marathons that weaved through the city. We have more than 700 runners uh, record from Mexico, 700 from the United States, and it's a coming together. People have been training for months around the world. Mayor Olivia Chow was also in attendance running the 5K. This marathon is about 25,000 people traveling on the same path, doing their personal best, but also a path towards charity and compassion. Participants were able to choose from dozens of organizations to run and raise money for as part of the TCS Charity Challenge. More than $53 million has been raised for over 150 charities since 2003. Michelle Mackey, City News. Yeah.